Hi, this is Paula. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a subscriber or you've been here before. The other day I got some awesome news that I had been selected to be one of the inaugural guest designers for Susan Taylor Brown here on YouTube. She's also got an Etsy store under the name of Poppiness. Five of us who have been selected and we were able to pick two of Susan's awesome kits. So we've got one of the quote kits here and I also selected the map set. And what I'm gonna do is show you some ideas for things that you can make using printables such as these. You get 10 different maps and I will run through those shortly so you can see what they look like. And the quotes, you get four sets of quotes based on a theme, but you get three different color versions of the same quotes. So depending on what color your page or your album or your um, embellishments cluster for instance is that you're wanting to put them on even your card you can pick which color suits best the theme that you're going for and then select from that so we'll use those later as well these are just absolutely amazing maps and i'm really impressed with the clarity of them uh, when you print them out now here in New Zealand we print on A4 so you'll see I've got a border around all of the images because Susan's based in the States so of course uses it was an eight and a half by 11 size so that just means that um, I will need to trim these down so that I can use them but then I normally do that anyway with things because even though when you print borderless you do tend to find that you have an edge around the pages. So I've just used a copy of paper that is slightly heavier than normal. Um, I think it is about a hundred grams rather than I think normal copy of paper is about 80 um, and it, but it's designed specifically for ink jets um, just so that I could use something that's a little bit heavier but still have the flexibility of paper uh, it was paper straight from the pack I haven't tea dyed it or anything just so that I could see the vibrancy of the colors and the images and maps and to be honest, I am just so impressed and can't wait to use them. And then I'll just quickly show you one of the quote sheets or one set of them. So, I mean, there's roughly 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, give or take on, on the pages. Um, and they are all in themes. And I can't remember off the top of my head how many different themes Susan has got in her Etsy shop. But I will put some links down in the, the description so that you can go and have a look at all her amazing products yourself. Um, and get some so that you can use them in your creating. I've actually gone and trimmed around the edges on these ones. Now I've done this so that I could see how much actual real estate, so to speak, I have available to craft. So some of them, for instance, this one here had quite a, a difference in about an inch top and bottom that I had to trim away. So that's turned into quite a narrow image. Um, and so that's it, it's made it a lot easier for me to say, well, okay, well, depending on what I'm making this is how much space I've got available um, and I quite often use templates so cutting it this out first means that I can now put a template on and know exactly what size is going to fit or do I need to adjust it for what I'm going to make. 
process of um, making some junk journals. So I've got here um, a base signature that I've pulled together. Now here in New Zealand, law has been changed so that we're no longer able to use single-use plastic bags. So certainly my supermarket that I get my grocery shopping from have moved to brown paper bags. So that now means that instead of having millions of plastic bags sitting around at home, I have got millions of paper bags. I am trying to come up with ideas on how to use them. So that's one of the things I've done here, is just to actually cut up the paper bag to see what I can use it for in terms of making a mini album um, and putting it together. Because I do like the weight of the paper. It's a little bit heavier than um, copy paper, but certainly nowhere near as thick as cardstock. So sewing and embellishing and, and putting anything on it will be quite easy. When I cut them up, um, so if I take two here, so that is essentially the paper bag. That's the two sides, and I've just torn them with like the edge of a ruler or I think it might have actually been like a sharp knife um, and then folded them so that I've got a little wee flap so I'm not sure if I'll leave those on um, or turn, I can turn them into pockets, I can turn them into tuck spots I've just sort of left them like that for the time being until I know exactly what I want to do with the pages so the first thing I, I thought about with using them is just simply using these all just as pages, which would be the easiest thing to do. And if you're new to junk journaling or um, making your own books, then that's ideal. You can see that it's so long as it's smaller than the base of the page that you're using, then you can use the images just as they are, which is perfect. So straight away, I can add one map into each of the signatures, and I'm looking at doing four signatures, so I'd probably add two maps, which would give me two left over. And instantly, there's some really amazing-looking pages for my album straight away. Now, I should probably say, I'm thinking I'm actually doing a pirate theme mini-album copies of the maps as well and turn them into pockets and decorate tags and whatever other embellishments as well. So at the moment we're just going to have a play and see what we can come up with in terms of ideas for this pirate themed um, mini album. What I want to start off with now is actually have a look at, okay, well, what's some different pockets that I can make, um, different maybe decorate some tags, all those sort of extra embellishment things that I like to put in at this stage when the pages are all loose before I sew the signatures into the cover. So we'll do that. 